My name is Sarah Flicker, and I am a professor here at York University in Environmental Studies. And my research is all about sexual health promotion with youth and reducing health inequalities. Over the years, I've worked with various levels of government to improve the health environments for young people. At the municipal level, we've been able to improve clinical access for young people. At the provincial level, we've worked with the Ministry of Education to reform sexual health education. And at the federal level, we've worked with the Public Health Agency of Canada to improve interventions that more meaningfully engage young people in sexual health promotion. The youth that I work with every day are my inspiration. They are so strong and talented and vibrant. And even those youth that are most troubled or have the toughest time are the youth that really excite me the most because that's where we can see the real change and transformation when we give them the opportunity to succeed. Hi, my name is Ali Dodd. I'm Amir Fazli, and I'm a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at York University. Uh, my area of expertise is surface engineering, is at the intersection of fluid mechanics, uh, material science, and physical chemistry. Surface engineering touches uh, lives of Canadians in many different areas, from natural resources to uh, development of new clean technologies such as fuel uh, cells, and also uh, it can help with uh, getting rid of icing on various structures, whether it's aircrafts, wind turbines, or uh, uh, communication antennas. And my research is helping to mitigate icing for such systems. Various things inspire me, uh, really talking with my colleagues, working with my students, uh, you know, working with international colleagues, my mentors who have really influenced my way of thinking, uh, and also opportunity to be able to contribute to the Canadian economy by the technologies that we can help develop is really inspiring to me. So my name is Shana Rosenbaum and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychology at York University. My research is in the areas of clinical neuropsychology and cognitive neuroscience. Well, remembering how to navigate in our external world and remembering past personal experiences are crucial to everyday life but they're also vulnerable to healthy aging and also to a host of neurological conditions. And so what we're hoping to do is uncover the basis of this type of memory decline in these populations. And we're also developing strategies to help patients overcome this sort of memory decline. So one of the major sources of inspiration for my work was the famous case HM, who we learned about in our introductory psychology classes. As a graduate student, I was very fortunate to work with a similar case who is known by the initials KC, and despite extensive brain damage, ended up with an even more selective memory impairment. And sadly, KC passed away not long ago, but the many discoveries um, that were made based on his case added meaning to an otherwise restricted life.